Mamma mia. Here we are again for some StarCraft. Best of five, it's the other playoffs. Semi-finals of the Homestar Cup 23. We have Solar versus Liquid's a laser. Okay, that was completely awesome, but also kind of botched. It's only Zergs left now in the Home Story Cup 23 edition. We already see some cheeky stuff happening. Solar went for a 14 pool. Whereas a laser went for a normal hatch first. No gas for Solar, however, so expecting this to be kind of early lings, but with Hatchery, I'm pretty sure this was not a 12 pool because I saw him make a drone. Maybe he cancelled it, because everything else looks kind of like a 12 pool. Maybe it's a 13 pool. Let's say it's a 13 pool. Now, a laser doesn't know just yet. He's about to find out, but ooh, the lings actually go around here. Queen and gas underway, so with that gas might be some follow-up aggression. It's only six lings, so it's not a 12 pool for sure now. Even though I missed it. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we'll do some reverse engineering of the build. So a laser doesn't know anything's up just yet. And now he knows. Zerglings walk up into the base. And now a laser needs to think quickly on his feet. Doesn't start speed right away. Doesn't want to waste his minerals on that just yet. These Zerglings are fighting with the drones. No drones die just yet. One drone dies. And there's two Zerglings out for a laser. And a nice micro both sides. Especially impressive by a laser keeping all of his drones alive like that. Ooh, another drone. Oh, no. oh, more drones get targeted down. Nice job by Solar making this build worth it. And just droning, droning, droning behind it. So cute moves. Delaying the third base as well. And keeping a laser in the dark a little. So it's, in total, it was only two drones, actually. I thought it was three. Now a laser's like, okay, let me take, uh, take another base. Just lose an overlord here. But does take his third base. Speed did start now. Two drones still on gas, so... Might see a bailing us pretty soon and some counter-aggression. Or just a roach war in Evo Chamber wall. That wouldn't make that much sense with this quick third base. The other side, though. No! Third base from Solar. I'm loving it. I love... Uh, yes, yes. I love two base builds in Zerg versus Zerg. My whole repertoire for like five straight years in StarCraft was 2v2 builds in the CVZ. Even though three base became the standard, I was like, nope, no, nope, I'm, I'm the two base god. I got like 12 follow-ups on this two base build. I'm gonna keep two basing for the rest of my life. So whenever a Zerg pulls it out, I'm super hyped with it. So let's see, there is no lair, which means, yes, there's going to be a lot of Zerglings here. So this is kind of a Sioux build, where, yeah, you get an upgrade, you get a Roach Warren, and then you make Zerglings, wait for speed, then you attack with the Speedlings, then you pull up Roaches to do a follow attack, follow up attack with that upgrade. So now there's speed, there's Zerglings, and they just run by, they're going for the throat. And more Zerglings are being made, and there's plus one armor. Maybe the Roach Warren is completely fake. That would also be kind of cool. So this should easily shut down the third base. Unless a laser has units out already for his own aggression. But he doesn't. So he even closed down the wall. So what would be nice by Solar here. If he had a second gas he could do a Ravager follow up to bust. But now he just has map control. Which is also... Not bad. We see a quick lair again from a laser. Liking that as well. These players are Zerg versus Zerg players to my heart's content. Or how do you say that? I love them. Okay, that's what I'm saying. They're playing cool shit. Third base for Solar now. 
queen underway. I love that efficiency from these players where that queen is in position, getting that larva in as soon as possible. Roach Warren is down. Second was being built to make sure that if Solar would commit, he had a new Roach Warren. We see four gases, so... But no Spire. So I'm kind of wondering what he's going to spend that extra gas on. But he's also a little bit oversaturated. I guess he just had a lot of drones trying to saturate the, that third base. So ca got caught a little bit of guard by the Solar. Meanwhile, Solar has this third base and is actually just saturating and has this... Roach speed plus one setup, which is nice. Did not do a follow-up all-in. Is just content with cancelling that third base. Now taking the economic lead and kind of fishing out what a laser wants to do. A laser has a spire. Where is that spire? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. I'm blind. Back in the day, sometimes we would get like a proxy spire. That shit was pretty hype. Nice Ling run by by a laser. It kills a queen. That's pretty annoying. You miss at least one round of larva and your injects won't be synced anymore until you miss an inject at some point and then you can sync them up again. Super annoying, honestly. Now we see these Roach Ravagers moving across the map. Kind of chilling out near Solar's third base, but Solar is more than prepared. Plus, armor Lings run into... The natural area here, and ooh, they do a full surround on a couple roaches and a queen, just being annoying, and a laser is forced here to turn back. And Solar scouts the spire as well, and is very contented knowing that there's a spire, and he's almost up a full upgrade. So we see spire is done, but we see 12 more roaches by a laser, so... This is probably going to be an all-in by a laser. 15 drones just died in a laser's base. So actually, Solar already put him all in and did a counterattack with a massive amount of roaches. And that goes to show how annoying Solar's movement in the main was because I didn't even notice. Solar just moved across the map with all of his roaches. Kind of an anti-timing for himself because he is almost getting his upgrade advantage but his army is just bigger and he's able to target down these annoying ravagers as well he's overwhelming a laser in the front killing drones in the back and just forcing him out of this game with pure roach numbers and nice movements of the army especially those plus one armor links forcing a laser to defend on two sides when his ar army just isn't big enough to do that and forces him to tap out and it's a uh, gg Sort of takes the first one of this best of five. And just like that, one, two punch and Solar takes the lead in this best of five with a cheeky build, honestly. He went for like a 13 or 14 pool, did a sneaky six slowling run by, putting a laser on the back foot, transitioning into a very cute two base defense which I personally love. Like, anything can be happening between behind that Evo Chamber Roach Wall. It's you, you just can't get a Scouting Lingen anymore. And if they just have a Queen that is looking for that Overlord Scout, they won't know what's happening. Both players going for Hatch first this game. So, Solar not doing anything tricky just yet. And after that, Solar used the two base to hide... A big Ling Flood while still getting plus one armor. So probably also able to hold off any Baneling aggression with that. And then he could cleanly transition into a Lair. Plus one Roach with speed into a third base. Meanwhile, he had a laser stuck in his own base. Because he just killed the third base and a laser couldn't get out of his base until he had a good amount of Ling Roach himself. And then he tried to go into uh, Spire play, which it looked like a little bit of a late Spire. Like more of a reactionary Spire. Like, oh shit, what just happened? Let me get a Spire, I guess. I got these four gases in this lair. And I kind of didn't want to use it, but now, I mean, I lost my third. I'm stuck in my base. I guess I'll throw down a Spire then. So 
So these players are in game two completely mirroring each other. I think as a laser, you kind of got to shrug that one off as, okay, you got to, he got one over on me. I kind of got shook up, but I got my own tricks. It's a best of five. I'm going to show you how great I am. So we see two scouting links from Solar side and also from a laser side. Not surprised that a laser wants to scout this cheeky bastard. Both taking a third base, mirror matchup, mirror builds. We see an extra queen being added on here for Solar. Or did he delay a queen? No, it's just straight up an extra queen here. Bailing Nest coming out for both of them. And the laser sticking on the two queens for now. While Solar's already making his third queen. That doesn't say that much right now. But it kind of insinuates that Solar wants to use that third base rather quickly. And connect his bases with creep a little earlier. So... That kind of hints towards wanting to go into Roach a little bit faster. Because Roach play benefits a little more. Nobody saw that, Solar, no worries. Roach play benefits a little more from the creep tumor than Ling Bane Ling play does. So let's see what a laser is up to. We see a Ling Flood. And we do have... Three queens from a laser now. I kind of like a laser's build. Well, I like both builds. They're just tailored to what both of them are doing. Although I kind of expected a roach were in here from Solar. Solar seems to know that something is up. Although six more drones. So he doesn't really know just yet. He is defensive enough though. He has a baneling already. He's making another one. So this Link Flood of a laser shouldn't do that much. And a laser is indeed droning behind it already. Making only two Banes of his own. Trying to catch these. Ooh. Kills a couple Larva and two drones. That's not bad, but it's not amazing. Just kind of worth it. But... Nothing more than that. You see eight more drones are underway for a laser. And now taking a lead in that drone number... Because he's putting on the aggression, and the aggressor is usually advantaged in ZVZ. Because you know if you're droning, the other guy doesn't know if you're droning, unless they have an overlord, like, behind your base. And even then, they'll only know when they pop. One queen gets caught, though, by Solar. Very nice catch there. Now the links get into the third base, but a lot of links here from a laser. Nice targeting on the Bane links with those two queens. Two queens do die, though. He needs to rebuild those immediately. Because otherwise, if you don't rebuild those queens, you just don't have the larva to keep up this Ling Bane aggression. Or just the dronage that you need to stay in a competitive Zerg versus Zerg game. For every hatchery, you want a queen up to like four hatches in Zerg versus Zerg. So the queen snipes are pretty, pretty big. We do see a Roach Warren for a laser. Now a lair starts on both sides of the map. But we do see plus one range for Solar already halfway done. If he just starts pumping Roaches, gets Roach speed and walks across the map. I fear for a laser's life. Because that can be a devastating push. Especially if he catches a laser being a little greedy or going for a spire again. So, five gas for Solar so far, and the laser ship pumping drones. Scouting as well. He scouts that there's a lair. And now a sixth gas. So, this could be a spire as well. Roach play with a spire to get map control is not that uncommon. It could also just be roaches, roaches, roaches. We do see a spire from a laser again. Evo chamber now finally plonked down. He's getting a sixth gas as well. We see plus two range going down for Solar. Could have also considered plus one carapace because it finishes a little earlier. And plus two range doesn't give you big advantages. 
unless a laser got plus one carapace. But this kind of signals. I don't know, it doesn't. Never, never mind. No fourth. Oh, never mind. There's a fourth base for both players. And a dropper lord over here. So I'm going to do an abandoning drop. Ooh, Hydralisk Den. So is he looking to go? He's looking to kill his own baneling nest. He's like, I'm never making banelings ever again. And he's looking to go lurkers. Now that's a new strategy that I've never seen before. Kill your own baneling nest. Maybe just want to make sure that he can't get stuck in his own base. And he doesn't plan on making a lot of banelings anyway. So we see a spire on the laser side. Eight meters underway. And on the other side of the map, Solar is kind of in the know. He's already making a spore crawler. He's getting double upgrades for his hydralisks. And he's just pumping out the roaches. And a laser's roaches are just straight up weaker than Solar's roaches. Solar has plus one. I'm surprised he's, he's not ch um, chasing here. Things poking in. A lot of roaches actually hidden from a laser. He doesn't know how big Solar's army is. A laser's army actually even bigger in army supply. Equal in drones. Pretty good. So a laser he in the fourth base with his roach count. Clicking on the fourth base. I think he's going to get that fourth base killed. Oh my god. Oh my god, he got caught by Solar. Oh, that is not supposed to happen. I think he wanted to drag off a couple roaches there and just run away with his entire force, but I think he just misclicked there and Solar was able to move in and body block half his army. Mutas are in the third base. Clicked down the, the spore, actually. Maybe he killed it earlier with the Zerglings. And nine drones do fall. These Mutas kind of worth... Being a very annoying nuisance. And look at a laser supply now. He has a big ass army. If he just makes more roach now. And moves into Solar's base. He can probably kill him. But there is lurkers underway. Still gets stuck behind his own wall. Even though he has no bailing nest anymore. How do you push into these lurkers. If you don't have vipers. Or a lot a lot a lot of ravagers. And the laser is now maxed. He is moving in with roaches at the third base. Also to the fourth base. I love these plays from a laser. Just shutting down another base of Solar. Solar just has no mining. He is mining on his natural. But his main is already half mined out. And now two of his bases are dead. A very nice and comfortable position for a laser. Unless somehow, some way, Solar pushes him to death right now. Gets into this position with all of his lurkers and just shuts a laser in his own natural. But Solar is hellbent on staying in this game. He has the lurker, so it's very hard for a laser to actually kill Solar in this game. Because you need overwhelming numbers, which he doesn't really have. And a lot of overseers. Ooh. Accidentally battles his own army. That happens to the best of us. And now the fourth base is back up for Solar. He's retaking his third base. Kind of forfeiting all map control against a laser. And the laser takes full advantage. Take a fifth, takes a fifth base. Gets a hive. Gets a roach burrow. Loving that. You have a lot of roaches. Get some more value out of them. And his own hydralisk den. For his own eventual lurkers. Look at what a, a laser is actually pushing into Solar. With a unsuperior force. But a large roach force just entered the third base of Solar again. Killed some lurkers really nice. But this force had to retreat all the way to his own third base. And now this becomes really awkward. 
Because either you are pincering him or is he pincering us? I don't know anymore. It's a big roach hamburger fight here. And nothing shoots up, so the Muta should be able to do some work targeting the Overseer so he can do some Roach Burrow shenaniganry. But the Lurkers are here, and what's your answer to Lurkers, a laser? You have nothing. You have no Vipers, no Ravagers. So you kind of just have to give up this base. This fight is never going to favor a laser as long as Solar keeps his Lurkers alive. And he's so confident, he's actually rerouting his lurkers into the third base. And a laser, his army is just evaporating. No lurkers and an upgrade disadvantage. And just like that, bim, bam, boom. I don't need no fourth base. Don't need no third base. I've got the tech. I've got the upgrades. And you are down zero two. And with the bim, bam, bam, I'm going to pull you all into a royal blood for the third game of this best of five. A laser versus solar on side solar versus liquid a laser honestly i was loving a laser's play last game i thought that he was playing a super high tempo roach style that wants to keep making roaches and only roaches and then instead of transitioning into lurker you try to punish your opponent for transitioning into Lurker by going into super fast Vipers. And you just play 3-3 three, three Roaches with Burrow, Burrow, Move and Vipers. And like a couple Ravagers because, you know, you can kill Overlords and stuff. But he just kind of made Roaches and nothing else. So... But yeah, he just had the tempo going, right? He killed the third, he killed the fourth. Like he was trading really aggressively. But Solar did get up to those Lurkers, and he didn't manage to punish him for that. And then he kind of got caught with his pants down, where he really needed to transition into something that could answer the Lurker. But he couldn't. So, if I'm a laser, and I just lost two games in a row, trying to do my thing, just opening standard, getting into Roach's Inspire play... And he's kind of getting slapped around by Solar. I would pull out something new in game three. Just kind of show Solar that you can also beat him. You know, I would do a pretty sharp timing. Just try to... Kind of mind game him a little. And just do a timing. Not like an all-in. But definitely a sharp timing. That you've practiced a bunch. And you're comfortable doing the build. And you just kind of go for that strong attack. And then... Play it out from there. Just make sure that you are in your comfort. Because you need to play this whole series out. If you want to win. So. You want to start that off with a bang. One that you're comfortable with. So we see no links from a laser this game. Small adaptation. Whereas Solar is actually making two sets of links. So he has four links on the map. Now Laser is making two links so he can protect his third base because I think four or six links, I think it's four already, nibbling at this hatchery do kill it. Eventually. Baneling Nest coming down for a laser. Two in gas for a laser where there's only... Oh, oh, never mind. Solar's now putting all of his drones back into gas. So both players... Wanting to make sure that they can make gas units or tech up. Both sides making links and Solar actually making quite a few links here. Just a cheeky link flood with a roach worm behind. This is a nice map for these walls because you only need two buildings and a queen to wall it off. So when worst comes to worst, you as the roaching player can actually just forfeit your third base. And Solar is moving out, trying to push a laser's third base. But a laser has banelings. I kind of expect nothing to happen here. As long as a laser gets these banelings, he should be completely fine against this Zergling Flood. And, ooh, barely not enough links in position here to defend these bases. Oh my god, that's a lot of links suddenly in your natural and your main base. Queen is under duress as well the queen dies in the main 
And behind that, Solar's making roaches. This third, completely for show. Solar is all inning the crap out of a laser right now. 28 drones, roach, 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 with some zirkling follow-up. See a roach warrant for a laser. I like that he's across the map with his units because these slow roaches need to stay at home as long as possible so that a laser can build up his own roach count. Because this third base, as you can see, is already half health. Two spines on their way. These links still at home. And now the roaches are on the move. A laser, are you ready? For these to receive these roaches i don't think he is because he has banes but his links are across the map the spines are not done and his roach warren is not done either it's not looking good for the polish zerg here i don't think he ever put his pants on because he keeps looking like he got ca caught with his pants down and the queens do get surrounded big ling flood from solar coming from the left here on top of the spine spines were place next to each other so corrosive bile do double double damage and the roach ravagers just rolling over a laser's face and now the last queen is in duress and i don't think a laser can ever recover from this because either if he holds this he just doesn't have the larva he doesn't have the income he's fighting to the last drone but solar just like that takes the three zero versus a laser it's not like a laser played bad. Solar just made some really clean moves. Putting on sick aggression. And then you just barely miss the roaches on the minimap. And suddenly they're near your third. And suddenly, well, you just lose the game. Or, I think in this game specifically, a laser sent, across, sent all of his links across the map to the third base. It was like, he has to keep the roaches back. If he's making drones. But he wasn't making drones. So Solar could actually deal with that laying flood with his reinforcements. And all of a sudden those roaches are across the map. And he d just didn't quite spot them in time. Like he saw them on the mini map but he didn't see them see them. And just like that Solar with the moves. Takes this best of five very convincingly. And moves on into the final where it's going to be another ZVZ, Rainer, facing off against Solar in a best of seven. Zerg versus Zerg. It's promising to be an epic one. Rainer kicked out the last Perdas. Solar kicked out the last Terran of the playoffs or the entire tournament. And now both Zergs try to reign supreme and take that first place and become the grand champion. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this short series of ZVZ. If you do like my content, leave me a comment, like the video, and subscribe. And until the next video, I'll see you then. Cheers.